Couch Taters, how you doing this week? So today we are talking about iBoy. We are talking about that movie. If you have not, do not, and will not know what we are talking about now and why we're talking about iBoy, it's because you haven't watched the last video. So go do that now. Go watch the next, vi the last video that we uploaded, basically talking about what we're going to be doing specifically on these little bingey reviews. Okay? So let's jump right into it. We're going to talk about iBoy. iBoy was a movie released back in January of 2017. Uh, so far, it is a movie that you can watch with just about anybody. It just depends, honestly, how couple of parents you are. If you want to watch this with your kids. If you do watch it with your kids, you need some soap. There's a lot of, lot of profanity in this, in this movie. Really good. Really good story. Um, the story was carried on really great. Honestly, it was really great actors. Really great overall. I give it three stars for the acting, and I give it three stars for the story. The thing that missed in the plot that I feel like the Netflix really slacked on, I guess, in this specific thing, was the backstory of the actual characters. They really kind of like. I don't know, they didn't really talk a lot about the characters, where they came from, or what was going on. They just give you like a couple of lines here and there that, you, that didn't probably pop up until later on in the movie. And so you had to really be watching to actually like catch every little detail. And I mean, that's really good movie-wise, but I feel like that was something that they could have at least given it a little bit more backstory to actually, like, you know, pull you in and actually connect with the characters and connect with the people in the story. Because it was a really good story. Uh, even though it is kind of like a sci-fi fantasy type of thing. Uh, this, um, spoiler alert. It It is about a kid that gets into an accident. Um, he gets shot, basically, and gets the powers of a cell phone. And when I mean, how does that happen, you may ask, that's what I said. Because there's no real backstory about it. They didn't really get into depth with it. They just said that this man had bits of cell phones inside of his brain. Yeah. And so that's kind of where it goes, and that's where it kicks off, and then it goes into this deeper story. Really good, really awesome. Uh, I think it's worth watching. It is something worth watching at least once. It's not something I would go back and watch like watch it again and be like, you know what, I'm gonna watch I would next to tomorrow because it was so good. No, it's not like that at all. So I give it three stars. Stories was great, dismissed a lot of backstory. Acting was a phenomenal. The the um the actual way they carried it, the picture quality of it was great too. Everything was awesome. The only thing I think I was wrong is that they didn't really give a lot of backstory. So you were left hanging in a lot of areas and you just kind of, it, it lost you a little bit. And, it, you know, it kind of dragged on sometimes and it was like, uh, okay. But it was a great movie if you want to sit back and watch something kind of like action-y and sci-fi mix. It's like a Matrix remake, but like more modern day era type of thing. Really awesome. But we hope you guys enjoy it. Um, please go watch it. If you guys have any other things you want us to review... We will be doing it. Right now, we're only starting off with January and February releases. Everything that was released in January and February, we will be reviewing on this channel. We'll be uploading it here almost every time. Cash Potatoes, I will catch you later. Go binge something else, and we'll see you later.